Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. So I actually finished off my very first vlog um, like two days ago on Wednesday and today's Friday and I really, really enjoyed it. I thought that I would start a, another vlog and just show you what I get up to over the next couple of days. Um, again, I can't go anywhere because of lockdown. So I just thought that I would show you a few of the things that I get up to and keep myself occupied. What I'm currently doing is editing a video that I just filmed on how I paid off my five and a half thousand dollar credit card in uh, in five months. So if you want to watch that, please make sure that you do go and have a look. I'll link it down below anyway. Um, so I'm just editing that. It's around what time? Is it? It's 11.57, so it's almost 12 o'clock. Um, I'm going to head to my sister's house today. I'm obviously not going to film there, um, but I'm just heading over to her house. She is a single person, so I'm her single person bubble. So I'm just heading over to her house just to say hi and to drop off some chives and to pick up a few things. Um, Lewis is working today again. He's just in the office. He works for himself, so he works at home pretty much every day. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch. That's always kind of like the, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but lunch is like, I find the most boring, most boring meal. I love lunch and I'm sorry, I love breakfast and dinner, but I find lunch is kind of like, ugh. I don't have leftovers from the night before. Like, why is it fun? Why is lunch even like exciting, you know, unless you're going out for lunch, of course, but, um, yeah, so the house isn't actually too messy either. I do have a thing of laundry next to me, so I don't really want to show you our knickers and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. I'm just going to edit a video and I can show you. So I'm currently editing on iMovie. It's super, super simple. Since starting YouTube, um, I've developed so many more skills and I've really, that's the thing that I've really liked most about YouTube. editing that video um, so I'm just going to upload it I'm not actually going to upload it today I'm going to schedule it so because I'm a full-time teacher I found that trying to film throughout this the term was actually really quite difficult so I'm kind of filming a few videos that will be in between vlogs and then I'll upload those over the term just so that I'm not as stressed throughout um, term four because it is the biggest teaching term of the year it's the busiest and that's when the kids are the most crazy and that's when we become really burnt out and tired so I just thought that I would film a fair few videos during the holidays while I have time um, and then upload those over the term just yeah just to make myself relax a little bit more um, so what I'm going to do now I actually bought something the other day and it came on Wednesday, I think. Yeah, it came on Wednesday. And I don't know if anyone else has been doing some online shopping. But I bought myself a new... I bought myself a new Nutribullet. So the one that I had beforehand um, was actually really good. It's called Cambrook. It looks... The bottles look like this. And I think it was like $30 or something. I got it as a Christmas present two or three years ago but it just wasn't crushing up the ice properly and because we're getting into the warmer months here in Australia um, and Melbourne in particular has a really hot summer usually I really wanted to try and make some smoothie bowls and the Nutribullet I knew would do a much better job than this one so what I usually so what I might do now I might actually make myself a smoothie and I might make one for Lewis as well if he wants one it's just like a good snack to have um, in between like breakfast and lunch it just stops it just stops me snacking from the throughout the day so so I thought I'd show you what I put in 
my smoothies. I might actually ask if Lewis would want one because I'm not going to make him one if he doesn't actually want, want one. So let's go and see what he's up to. Let's go and disturb him. Lewis? Angela. <laughs> hey. Hey, would you like a smoothie? Yes, please. Yeah, what kind, of, what kind of smoothie do you want? Do you want a berry smoothie or do you want a mango? Mm, surprise. A surprise? A surprise. Okay, let's go and surprise him. <laughs> All right, so I'll show you what I usually put in our smoothies. This camera's really heavy too, by the way. <laughs> I'm filming on like a, I think it's called a DSLR. Yeah, it's really quite heavy. So I'll move you down. All right, so I have my smoothie thing here. So also, don't judge me on this banana. I know that it looks so rank, but it actually makes the smoothie taste super, super yummy. I'm actually going to get the bigger, the bigger version of this just to make it a bit easier. So I'm going to use this one here. So this is the protein powder that I use. It's by Tropica. So I use the um, vanilla lean protein and the chocolate lean protein. And then I'm also going to put in our smoothies. It's called Immunity. Um, these powders are really good for you. They're vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, um, non-GMO, dairy-free, and they're organic as well. So that's why I choose these. It's mostly for the gluten-free and the dairy-free. Just, um, just to make, because with some protein that I've had in the past, when it's had gluten in it, just doesn't sit well with my stomach. So I really like these. They're nice and light and they're really delicious too. So I'm going to put the rest of this rank, of this rank banana. Again, no judgment. It makes this smoothie really, really sweet. I'm going to add in some pineapple again just to add some sweetness. So I'll just add in a few, a few bits, not too many. And um, some ice, just a little bit, I'm not going to add too much. Some mango. If you are after lots of fruit, Aldi does really good fruit. So this is a bag from Aldi. It's one kilo and I think it was like $6 or something. So cheap. And they're not overly iced over. There are some supermarket brands like Coles and Woolworths. They're really, they're really, really iced over and yuck. But this mango is actually really good. All right, so that'll be enough mango. Now the next thing that I put in, I just add some, ooh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I just add in, add in some passion fruit pulp. This, um, this helps to actually, again, keep the, keep the smoothie um, sweet. So I'll just add that in there. Just about three. And then I'm going to get a tablespoon. I'm just going to add roughly one teaspoon of the immunity, the immunity powder. A little bit less, about that much. Pop that in there. I will get a tablespoon of the protein powder. This helps you keep fuller for longer. So I don't add in too much. I might just add in a tiny bit more. And spirulina. So this is really good for you. It helps with your energy, protein, and antioxidants as well. So if you do find that you do have low energy, um, try a little bit of spirulina. Just an FYI, only use a little bit and do not smell it. It stinks like fish. But it's really good for you. Okay, I'm going to add just some water. I don't really add coconut water or coconut milk or anything. I just add water because it's already sweet enough. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It looks like monster juice, honestly. This is going to look so foul, but I promise you it will taste 
yummy. So the consistency is a little bit thick at the moment, like it's not really moving. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more water, just a tiny bit, because I don't want it to be just like super liquidy. I want it to have like some sort of thickness to it. Give it a shake. It's really annoying because I don't know if you can see, but all this stuff just sticks to the edge. I'm like, I don't want it to do that. Now it's for the taste test. It's still really thick. I probably could have added a lot more water into it. That's good. It probably could have used about another 30 seconds blending because it's really thin and smooth, but sorry, it's not thin, it's thick. It's really smooth, but there are like little bits of water grains. Taste test. Mmm. That's what delicious. Reckon? What do you reckon? That's beautiful. Which one is it? Um, it's the mango one. It's quite thick though. Mmm. No, I like it like that. This would like be it? good for a um, smoothie bowl. Yeah. Maybe just without the spirulina. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> all right so i'm just going to continue editing some other videos and i will check i'm not going to show you the knickers um i will show i will check back in with you a little bit later on all right so it's the next day now and it's sunday here today in melbourne and the weather isn't that great it's quite overcast and a little bit muggy so what we're going to do is we are going to attempt to do a grocery shop for two weeks so we're going to attempt to not go back to the grocery shop for two weeks, which I think is kind of exciting. And we're going to see if we can do it. Um, so, yeah, I do go back to school next week. So the term four starts next week. And then the week after that, I completely go back to school. So that's really exciting. So I have lots of different snacks and different foods and lunches that I can have. I'm trying to eat a little bit more consciously and a bit healthier this term. Um, so, yeah, we'll see see how we go but when we come back I will show you exactly what we got so can we appreciate the fact that now in Melbourne someone can actually go to the shops with you so Lewis is actually gonna come with me this time this is about the third time since living in our house which we've been here for nine months that we actually get to do a grocery shop together so that's exciting from the shops so Lewis and I both did the grocery shopping which was really good so this is the groceries that we have to hopefully last us the next two weeks they are all out on my kitchen bench at the moment but I also had to put some on our dining table because there was just so much stuff which you know it's not a bad thing if you can um, get a lot of food for two weeks which was great so we spent around about 220 which um, it's probably cheaper than what we would spend if we were to do like a, like a grocery shop next week. So every week we usually spend roughly 120 ish dollars for this grocery haul to cost around 220. I thought was pretty good. All right. So what I thought I'd do now, I'm just going to take you through what we bought. Keep in mind that we might have to go back um like the next week to get some fresh fruit and veg and some milk and stuff but yeah this should hopefully last us two weeks 
All right, so as usual, starting with the fruits and the veggies. So the first thing I picked up was some bananas. We do currently have some in the fruit bowl at the moment, but I just want some for like a banana, um, for banana bread or just to put in, you know, acai bowls or smoothies and things. So just get some extra. A huge bag of spinach. Picked up some snoo peas. Two things of broccolini one head of broccoli, one red capsicum, one green capsicum, one punnet of blueberries. Hopefully these are nice. I know sometimes you can get really sour or gritty blueberries, so hopefully these are good. Some frozen peas from Aldi, some silver beet to have with a corned beef. Uh, moving on to some fruit, picked up three Royal Gala apples. These are pretty much the only apples that I really like. And I don't know if anyone else is like this. Please comment down below if you are the same. But I only really like to eat an apple if it's already like cut up. Like I don't like to pick up the apple and just bite into it. I don't know why, it's a bit strange, but anyway. Um, I picked up three onions. So I'm actually incorporating more onions in my diet now, which is fantastic. I did have a garlic somewhere, but I'm not sure where I've actually put that garlic now. It's probably still in one of the bags. Uh, so I picked up some strawberries, three carrots, and some mushrooms. Oh, and we also picked up, move the peas, some acai berry. So this is what I have in my acai bowls. If you would like a recipe on how to actually make an acai bowl, I have a cacao and peanut butter acai bowl. It's so, so delicious. So leave a comment down below if you'd like me to, um, to give that to you. Sorry if you can hear lots of wind. It's actually really windy in Melbourne today. Um, so moving on to like the dairy, picked up some halloumi, some thickened, so some thickened cream, just some milk, some milk there. I picked up four yogurts. So I got two strawberry, one passion fruit, and one mango. Some natural yogurt for a butter chicken that Lewis is going to make. Now, if any of you had seen the My Boyfriend Does the Grocery Shopping, um, you would have seen that I wasn't so happy that Lewis picked up this cheese, but I decided to get this one just because he was right. It is cheaper, so. Picked up a huge one kilo block of cheese. Now Aldi have some fantastic dips. So if you are in the market for some dips and you don't want to pay the same cost as what you do at Woolworths and Coles, really go to Aldi and have a look at their dips. So I picked up a Persian feta with herbs and pepper. A, what's this, topped hummus with dukkah. And we just got some eggs. Moving on to some meats now. Picked up a silver side or corned beef that Lewis is going to cook. Two eye fillet steaks. We're being fancy this week. So we're going to have that tonight with a little bit of garlic butter and some veg. Some scotch fillet steak. So I use this for the beef stroganoff that I use or make. Whoops. Picked up some hot dogs just as a treat. Lewis doesn't actually know that I got these. So I'm going to quickly put them in the freezer a chorizo and then I also picked up some Chinese barbecue pork for Singapore noodles. I picked up some so slow cooked veal tortellini with cheddar cheese so that'll be yum. I haven't had tortellini or veal um not veal sorry ravioli in so long and I was just really craving it. Um, some chicken breast fillets and then I also picked up some chicken thighs as well. Some beef mince for a lasagna. Some middle bacon, just for like breakfast type things. And yeah, so that's all the meat that we got for the two weeks, which is quite a lot, but that's okay. All right, now moving on to like all the miscellaneous items. So I picked up some risoni, some spirals for this beef strong enough, lasagna sheets, some cinnamon for the banana bread, some easy off bam goodbye soap scum. Two big things of tuna for a tuna mornay that I'm going to make for lunches. 
Now I went to a zero waste grocery kind of store and we picked up this peanut butter smooth organic dry roasted. So we're going to give that a go and see if it tastes better. Next, some coconut cream, some soy sauce, some salted pretzels, some unsalted peanuts. Also picked up some vermicelli noodles for the zing um for the Singapore for the Singapore noodles. Some mint creams as a treat. Uh, we got Lewis some um, deodorant, so some roll-on. And I also got a zero waste toothbrush. So I use these now instead of plastic. Everything on the toothbrush is compostable apart from the actual bristles. So it's a lot better for the environment. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Just moving over to the dining table because not every single thing fit. So I just picked up three things of soft drink and this is all that we have for the fortnight. We're not allowed to go out and get any more. This is all that, we, that we've got. Some paper towel, some toilet paper. This is probably my favorite toilet paper. It's just nice and soft. <laughs> um, two things of coffee. As you guys know, we are obsessed with this Aldi coffee. Some hand wash, some cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is really great for your um, urinary tract. So if you are someone who has those kinds of issues, I don't, I just like the taste. Um, some butter chicken simmer sauce and then just a red curry. I'm like out of breath now. That was, that was a lot. All right, so I'm just gonna put this stuff away and then I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later. We did go to my house, my sister's house really quickly and picked up a wee that she no longer wants. So while I put all this stuff away, I think that Lewis will maybe um, put the wee together and then we also need to have some lunch because it's almost three o'clock and we haven't had lunch yet and I'm starving. So I'm just gonna turn the oven on now and I'm gonna put everything away and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, so just change of mind on the Wii. Um, we actually couldn't be bothered this afternoon setting it up. So we might do that um, tomorrow, or Lewis can do that while I'm at school tomorrow. I thought I'd just show you a few things that I picked up from Chemist Warehouse. Um, so because we are getting into the warmer months here in Melbourne, Victoria, um, I do need some new sunscreen because the sunscreen, I actually don't have any sunscreen at the moment. So the first one that I got was the Nivea Sun UV Shine Control. So it's 0% sticky feeling. So this is a face, a face sunscreen protector. Um, and that is SPF 50. So that's good. Um, the next one that I got was the Neutrogena Beach Defense Lotion Sun and Water Sunscreen. So it's four hours resistance, which is really good. So it just looks like that. I also picked up some Lady Jane Snagless Elastics because I ran out and Sneaky keeps stealing all of mine. So I needed new ones. And I also got the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. And I picked up the wrong one, of course. I picked up the, uh, it's in Glam Black, which is the correct color, but I also got waterproof mascara and oh, I hate waterproof mascara. It's so hard to get off. So this is the one that I always use. I literally never buy any other mascara. Like you could, I've used Benefit, I've used Too Faced mascaras and honestly nothing compares. I don't spend a lot of money on makeup anymore. I just find that it's not worth it. So yeah, so they're the few, I also got a lip balm too because my lips today, they're really red. Like I don't know why, maybe they're a little bit burnt. Can you see that? Like I don't have anything on them. They're really, really red. So yeah, um, I had to get a lip balm with some SPF in it as well because I burn very easily. So then for the rest of the afternoon, I don't know, we're not really doing much. It's my last day of freedom. So um, yeah, just hanging out. All right, I'll um, check in with you guys later or I will see you tomorrow. Morning guys, happy Monday. I'm actually in school at the moment. So I've just come into school for supervision today. Um, so we've been learning from home for around three months now, which is just crazy. So what I've had to do is come back 
into my classroom and basically rejig the whole thing, put names on tables, uh, clean my whiteboard, just get myself organized for when they do come back in on Monday and I'm nice and settled. So I haven't actually been in this room for around three months, so it's crazy. It's not even that, I'll show you, it's not even that dirty or messy. So this is my classroom. It's actually really quite large. And yeah, so my walls are kind of bare. So I just thought that I would show you fixing up my room and putting all the chairs out and getting organized. I also have to do my teacher desk because it has absolutely nothing on it and I need to get everything that I put into the cupboards in and put that on my desk too. I'm also supervising today as well. So I'm supervising at around 12 o'clock and it's 10 o'clock now. So I have about two hours to get organized. Um, but yeah, I just thought that I'd take you with me. I did a workout this morning, uh, Lily, Sa Lily Sabri, I think that's her name. Um, yeah, she's, she actually killed me. So I'm feeling a lot stronger, which is good. So my routine for getting back into school is waking up early, doing like 20 minutes of exercise, getting in the shower and then getting ready and coming into school. I really want to try and keep that good routine, um, for the rest of the year. So there's only, there'll only be 10 weeks of school after this week and then that'll be done and then it'll be Christmas. So yeah, I'm just going to start getting organized now and then I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. should do about the tables like I'm not sure if I should keep them as four tops or keep them as two tops like I'm not yeah just because when there's more tables but they're less but there are less kids on tables it's not as loud so I feel like I might do that for the first for like the first couple of weeks just till they're a little bit more settled I might because I've got all this dead space where these ottomans are that you can see. So I want to see if I can put a table there. That way I can have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I could have six tables with four students on them because I have 24. And that way I won't have to cap like any of the ends or anything. So I might do that and I'll let you know. All right, so I'm just doing some um, name tags now just to put on my students' tables. So as you can see, and I'll just turn around for you, that on each of the tables there are a student's name. Um, this is to help them find their spot when they actually come back into the classroom. So on Monday, I most likely won't be in here because I'll be out in the yard sanitizing and greeting students and parents. So the students will come in, they'll find their table and they'll sit down, get their stuff ready. Um, I do need to clean the whiteboard though because it's got a lot of writing from last term, actually not last term, the term before that. Um, so I'm almost done. So my room does look pretty good. It's, a lot of this stuff is from term one on term two, but I'm just not gonna change it. There's no point. Um, but yeah, so this is what my classroom looks at the moment. And I'll show you the name tags that I'm using. They actually look really, really cute. They've got like little succulents on them. So they're just these ones here. So I just put the student's name on them and then print them out, cut them and put them on the table just with a little blue tack. I didn't laminate them or anything because they're only going to use it for day one anyway. But I'll show you my teacher desk this is what it's currently looking like and honestly like my desk stays clean for a day if that like not even that so yeah we'll see we'll see how long I can keep it clean for term four 
But um, yeah, that's probably going to be it for me in my classroom now, guys. But yeah, I might check in with you later this afternoon because I do have to do supervision. So wish me luck. Also, I just wanted to, before I log off and sign off, I just wanted to say to all my fellow teachers or parents, you've done such a fantastic job during all this remote learning. You should be really proud. None of us have ever done this before. And I think that we all really need to give ourselves a big pat on the back because this is just such an amazing achievement and you know your parents that have had their kids home for the last couple months like I give you my biggest respect you know I'm a teacher I have them only from 9 till 3 30 but you know my respect goes out for you and really well done so you guys should be really proud and if you do have some kids please make sure that you tell them how proud you are of them no generation has ever done this before so I think they should all be really really proud of themselves and yeah thank you for coming and seeing my classroom. I hope that you did enjoy it. Let me know if you do want me to do some more teacher vlogs or um, so you won't be able to video me teaching my kids for privacy reasons, etc. But yeah, please make sure that you do leave a comment down below if you would like for me to do some more teaching vlogs. I might actually leave you guys here. And thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you do give this video a big thumbs up because it does support my channel a lot and it tells others to watch this video too. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye.